No, man, listen, I, I remember I interviewed Brother Marquise from the Two Live crew. And, you know, that sort of intermixed in that whole era and everything else like that. And I remember he said on camera that he knew dudes that told him that they felt that they had a rape license. That they, they felt justified taking the pussy just of who they were and the environment that they're in, like with a straight face. We got to Miami, it was, it, it was sort of a lawless, it was sort of a lawless place where anything goes and girls was there and it was guys that was, you know, really like extraly on some thug and some, you know, some, some goon shit. And, you know, in, in Miami, it was nothing, you know, if you would hear guys say all the time, if I got rape license. <laughs> That's what I heard <laughs> in Miami. So, you know, I used to see girls get abused and slapped for not participating. It was kind of crazy back then. You know what I'm saying? It was, this was before social media. Everyone had a camera. A lot of foul stuff got brushed under the table. Listen, it, it, <sighs> women have come a long way in this society. Um, let me get it right. <laughs> there was guys that he said that said he had or felt this is what they what they used to say. And they used to tell the girls, hey, you, you're trying to get backstage. If you ain't fucking, you can't come in here. And girls be like, I'm fucking. Even on a Dr. J record, when he was like, yo, are there motherfuckers, there's dudes in there? Like, it, the, some of his skits, when the girls would be like, yo, shit, is there somebody in there worthwhile? I want to get down. It was it was a two-way street. I know. Yeah. It, then it, wasn't, I, it wasn't always that. Like, listen. Wasn't always. Th th there, there's fun girls. Like, at the end of the day, there's girls just like there's male hoes, there's female hoes. Like, like it's, it's the whole, you know? I say this to my daughters. I know what they have to go through and... Some of the things my daughters have to go through that I have to hear is why I, I guess God just compounded. Remember, the human stop treating. But guys used to treat them like they were second class, third class citizen. Yeah. And they were in here, so they knew what they wanted. She got drunk. She, I mean, there was that was tons. It was movies. There was movies that tell you it wasn't good to have sex with a girl while she was drunk. Animal House. Yeah. Right. And you shouldn't have sex with a teenager, even though they're lying to you and telling you that they're older. Like these were in movies, but this was what, what happened. And I remember saying to my friend, I said, hey, you remember when those cars used to show up to the high school and the, the cute girl, would we called her fast, would run out and jump in the car and you knew it was a guy who was in his 20s or 30s and you knew she was 16 or 17, she's bragging. She got money. She got her hair done. She, I said, you remember that? Yeah. I said, it's not new. So when guys start acting like it was new, it's not. There's, there's, it was always like that. I'd be like, why is she messing with that older dude? Man, he taking care of her. She, you, you got a car to come pick her up? And we feel bad about it. Listen, women, once a woman dates a man with a car, they will no <laughs> longer Consider a man who takes the bus. <laughs> that is just that. I think they're biologically you get a programmed. You should get a t-shirt and say that. <laughs> Yo, like they are biologically programmed to have an aversion to to the man with the bus. You remember that. the car? The car was all it was when we were growing it was up. Just, it doesn't have to be a Benz. No, it just has to be a car. He got a car. He got a car. He got a car. In high he... school. I had a car in high school. Did hey, you? Yeah. I yeah. stole. I worked. I worked, man. I took my mother's car one since, day. I worked since I was like 13. Yeah. No, I bought I, my own car. I took my mom's car and there was no parking in my project in the parking lot. And I was just tired. So I parked across the street and my father woke me up. He said, man, I think somebody stole mama's car. And I looked, <laughs> I said, what? He said, yeah, it ain't in the parking lot. And I said, okay. And he walked out. I put my stuff on. I ran down eight flights. <laughs> I crossed the street. I pulled it, pulled box, yeah. and she, he said he just laughed. He was like, because he knew I took the car. So, and her car was whack. We had no, it was so bad. I think I got Rolled a picture. Rolled out the manual crank. I remember no, that era. It, 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 she had the, she had the uh, burgundy 
inside, uh, and we had remote control. We had the automatic, but the wheels kept. Everyone kept stealing the hubcaps. No oh, matter yeah, where the hubcap. I went, the, the, the hubcap, hubcap stealing was era. Yeah, and um, it was just a beat down car. But I remember I pulled up Michelle. Michelle, I ain't gonna say your last name. Couldn't say nothing because I pulled up in the car. She still yeah. didn't give me none though. 